Let's hide everything in the architecture and unhide the furniture. In the furniture, I got these assets from 3D Sky. So the bed, sofa, very nice assets. You can get them from 3D Sky or you can get them from Unreal Marketplace. They are similar assets. The curtain, yeah, I made this curtain really quick, super quickly in 3ds Max. I got also some kitchen accessories from Overmotion and some appliances. Now I would select these guys and I would export not as FBX but as a data math file so we can call it apartment one furniture and let's click OK. It takes sometimes few minutes or less than a minute when exporting such heavy assets we got more error messages, but that's something we would worry about later. Because I didn't do anything, I took these directly from the marketplace and I just played them in my scene. There is no unwrap yet, there is nothing. So Unreal Engine will take care of so many things for us and then at the end we will decide what we have to fix and what we have to unwrap manually. Now after we exported the furniture to DataMath files, let's go, back, let's go back to our Unreal Engine project. And let's click on DataMath again and select our furniture. We need to save it here next to our architectural elements. Click OK. This time we need the materials and the textures too. So that's important. And let's keep everything at 64. Click import and let's wait for a while. Nice. Now it's going to compile some shaders for our assets. This will take a few minutes. And now I'm going to bring in even more assets and build the light and come back to you guys. I did some changes. As you can see, I changed the floor texture. I got this one from Quixel, so let me show you. Quixel is actually amazing. So in Quixel Bridge, when you download it, you have all these items and they have more than 13,000 assets at this moment. And there is also collections where you could select what you're looking for. So when you click on Archviz collections, you have all these uh, collections in here. So it's they make it easier for you to search. I got like this piece of bread Let's look at it here. It looks absolutely beautiful. Here's our piece of bread from Quixel. I got this candle holder. I think I got it somewhere here. You know, The lighting, it's still an HDRI image, the same one we had, but I set the indirect lighting intensity on five. What we are going to do later is to fix these things and these pillows they need unwrapping so they have overlapping uvs we need to fix this in max uh, these are pre-made assets so if they are not unwrapped i'm gonna just maybe find other ones or maybe just go directly to under marketplace one of the ways to avoid this or maybe slightly fix it is maybe to increase the light map intensity so let's do it something that's really really high like 1024 and let's check on the light map uvs of this object so Let's see what we got. So this I got from 3ds Max using data math. It was like one click. If it didn't, oh yeah. So it made uh, automatic unwrap. And this does not work for such organic looking objects. Okay. So we may need to unwrap this manually. So let's see what's up with the topology. It might be easy. I don't know. We will see later. So let's cancel this. We can build the light again on like high setting and most of that effect will be gone and I will see you guys in the next lesson.